we're living in a world of assumption. And these assumptions are getting more and more wild. Uh, but the more they are repeated, the more they are taken as fact. So today, a few minutes ago, there was a report on GB News, which I've just seen, which um, was commenting on the agreement signed by Suella Braverman and the French. Well, that agreement is nothing new. We've already got an agreement between Britain and France about monitoring migration and trying to stop dinghies leaving France for the UK. Some of this is successful, some of it is not. I don't see that uh, another agreement is going to improve that situation. An improvement would be to cite a centre in France which was offered originally and we turned it down. That would change things significantly. Equally, there would be a significant change should we negotiate with each of the governments through Europe uh, to stop the flow of people into the UK. We would also stop the flow of people into the UK if we did our paperwork and if we processed the various visas that can legitimately be requested by people wanting to come and work or visit the UK. If it is known and if it is um, put out that an application for a visa to the UK will tie up your passport and your papers for anything between eight weeks and two years or more, then, of course, people are discouraged from making that application. And meanwhile, businesses who are dependent on foreign workers collapse. Because actually, British people seem unwilling to do those jobs. We need, we need the workers over here. And we need their spirit and imagination to rekindle some of the dynamic that we are clearly lacking. We're running around the plane, uh, we're running around the place being moaning minis. We need some energy and we probably need that from outside. And as for GB News, I was horrified. I was horrified that they, were, they, they showed a dinghy on a beach, I, I think in Margate, and said that that dinghy, uh, the producer had concluded that that dinghy was almost certainly occupied by 10 Albanians. How does the producer know? Does the producer have documentary evidence? I think not. It's an assumption. Yet one more assumption, and a racist assumption at that. It may be in line with what the government is directing. It may be in line with the sort of rhetoric that Suella Braverman is putting out. But it's simply... It's simply unfounded, unfounded, because Braverman and her cronies at the Home Office simply haven't done the work. And you can't run a country on rhetoric alone.